magic of music doing something beyond the reach of traditional medical treatment. The notes, rhythm and tone of the piano are reconnecting 16-year-old Matthew Good with a world he cannot see or move freely around. Just before he was two, he uh, had a very serious illness which put him into hospital for five months. And when he came out of hospital, he had a much bigger disability than before. Um, he would have perhaps been a walking, talking blind boy, but he became a boy in his wheelchair. I just put the speaker here. The music okay. therapists employed by Nordoff okay. Robbins are helping Matthew oh. learn the life skills most of us absorb without thinking. Coordination is difficult for someone with cerebral oh. palsy anyway. So trying to find something as a tool to help him coordinate was one of the reasons we thought about music therapy. Matthew has always been very keen to uh, make music, um, but I, I definitely saw a maturation within him. Uh, now he's more able to wait for his turn and to hear my call and respond appropriately. He's really getting how a conversation works and it's so important for his daily life. Matthew's not alone. Across Scotland, the work by Nordoff Robbins is helping to reach all ages from 2 to 82. Dedicated therapists are patiently using music to connect to people like Matthew. Today, he's been with Francesca of Nordoff Robbins and he's been experiencing quite loud, you know, conga drumming, I think she had today. And, you know, he's just loving it. Music is a great tool for him. It's a great enjoyment for him. It's, it's powerful. Harnessing that power isn't cheap. Nordoff Robbins has to raise half a million pounds every year to pay for the instruments, computers and 13 therapists it needs. I remember the first time Matthew was able to uh, play uh, the iPad and he, he just got so excited that he couldn't stop. Drum. And we had this very messy <laughs> improvisation with me playing the, the cajon drum and, um, and he was playing the iPad and it was, there was just so much joy. He makes us play in a way that we didn't think we could achieve and he makes us always try new things and, uh, and really reach for connection with people that are other ways very isolated and very... Um, yeah, very difficult to reach. There are a lot of things Matthew isn't able to do, but I actually think he is probably the happiest, most sociable person I've ever met in my life. And in that way, he's got so much to teach other people. Your donation will help sustain this valuable work making it possible for music to unlock the potential of those like Matthew to make their contribution to the world. From the very early days when he was sort of sitting on my lap and very tiny, some of the sessions I would go and I, he would do nothing. He wouldn't respond. And I would go home crying and I would think, oh, why are we doing this, you know? And then you'd go, you'd get one session out of six and he was so alert and so interactive and singing in tune in the right places in the music and really making music with his therapist. And you think, yes, that's what it's about. <laughs>